let's talk about a brand new feature in the Power BI desktop that is going to make your data look consistent and professional with almost no effort. I'm Allison Gonzalez, I'm a Microsoft Certified Trainer here at Pragmatic Works, and today we are going to be exploring a brand new feature it just came out in June 2025, and it lets you set an organization-wide theme. What does that mean? Well, anytime someone opens the Power BI desktop and they open their theme window, they will now have access to the themes that you choose. They'll have all those defaults, but they will also have the ones that you've set up just for them. Before we get over to the admin center, let's take a look at what we currently have in the Power BI desktop. When I go over to my view ribbon, and let's look at this beautiful masterpiece, right? And everyone has design eye, and so some things can sometimes look a little, maybe not the greatest. In your theme dropdown, you will always see at the top the theme that you currently have selected. We have our accessible themes, and then we have all of those standard themes. So nice, it's great. It let's you go and get your report looking a lot nicer than what you might choose for yourself. We have the ability to browse for themes where we can go look for themes that we have saved on our computer. You can make a theme, right? If the theme looks fantastic, you can go make modifications. You can hit that customized current theme to make changes to get it closer to what you'd like. And of course you can save that current theme so you can reuse it over and over and over again. Get saved as a JSON file or JavaScript object notation, which is a very lightweight and also pretty easy to read coding language. Now this is all fantastic. We've had this for years, but the new feature that we have can be enabled in the Power BI or the Fabric Admin Center now, where you upload the themes that you would like everyone to have access to. And we're going to see a whole new section added here in this window with those themes. So let's go set that up. In the Power BI service, powerbi.com, you can get to the admin center by going to the gear icon and then coming to the admin portal. Now, of course, you will need to have access to this admin ability to be able to get in and see and change all of the things. Inside of the admin portal, we get a whole section. We get about halfway down our list organizational themes. Now this still is in preview. Now, of course, every preview feature can and probably will change dramatically or slightly before it is actually fully released. So do expect some of these abilities to change based on feedback that Microsoft receives from all of us using it, trying it out and letting them know what we like and what we would want more of. So here in your organizational themes, you can add themes and notice you can add a lot. You really, as far as I know, don't have much of a limit with what you can. Now, of course, this may change again as Microsoft gets feedback with how many themes you will be able to upload at some point. Let's go ahead and hit add theme. You're simply going to choose that JSON file, right? That JavaScript object notation. You sing that a little bit of that JSON rule, a little auto tune as you do that. Just know that's going through my head every single time I do this. Now you will simply go locate where you have stored on your computer, in your drives, the file that you want to use, that you want everyone to use. Now, if you have never made a theme and you're curious about that, I do have videos here on our channel that will have linked below about how you can make these themes. But let's see how we do that. Go ahead and hit browse. You're going to find that file on your device. Once you have that JSON file selected, go ahead, hit open. You can give any theme name you would like, any description. Not required, but definitely beneficial when you have a lot of themes in here, right? If you put the different organizations that might be utilizing this, right? The different branches of your company, maybe you're going to have specific ones for HR, specific ones for finance, right? You would load them all in and that way they would be able to pick the ones that are going to work for them or that belong to their organization. We can also decide if that's going to be that default theme and go ahead and hit add. We will now see this gets added. Now notice that it says theme gallery disabled. You now want to select the theme that you just added in. And we're going to do a second step, which is enable for the theme gallery. This is going to make sure that it shows up in that gallery for us. So go ahead and click that nice little eyeball icon right there. And now we can see that the theme gallery is enabled. So here's where we have the little magic moment. 
let's go back to Power BI. Back in our Power BI report, again, we're in the view ribbon. Let's check our dropdown. Without even refreshing, I now have access to this organizational theme that I can now click, select, load on in just like any other theme. Let's take a look. Oh, I like this blue. It's nice and pragmatic, nice and relaxing over here. You can definitely see, right, let's say you have a specific change. You've changed specific visuals prior to that theme uploading, and then you see, right, how it looks different with what you've uploaded. You can always then go and tweak each of these visuals individually to make sure that they, based on the new theme settings, are working. The text is visible, right? If you've done a lot of modifications to a report prior to adjusting the theme, right, some of those things won't always translate 100% and you will need to kind of go in and make some modifications. If you want to take your theme skills even further, make sure to check out our JSON class that is on our on-demand. I just recorded this and I get into how you can read the JSON code so you can learn how to not just put images in, but also how to change all of the different sections, all of the different visuals, the types, all of that is in that JSON class. I do also have a YouTube video here on putting your image background into the JSON code as well. And also, if you want to get even more into your design, I have a full series. I call it Allison's Art School over here, and I go into all things design. So talking about color theory, report layout, even at how to make the backgrounds too. So I've got you covered with all of the knowledge about how not just setting up your organizational theme, but everything you need to know prior to putting this theme into your admin settings. So let me know in the comments, are you going to use this? What kind of themes would you set as the default for your organization? Are you all a little bit more bold, colorful? Are you very clean, minimal? Let me know. I'll be talking in those comments and I'm excited to see what you all think.